Children, give the crayons a break. Primary school kids in Hong Kong will be taught serious computer coding skills and junior secondary youngsters will be enabled to write programs for artificial intelligence and other areas of high technology. So we heard from leader John Lee yesterday. But the city won't make the mistake of abandoning the arts for science. The city will also put money and energy into fostering talent in the arts at all levels, from schools to the wider community. In his first policy address yesterday, new leader John Lee showed that he's determined to build on Hong Kong's extraordinary success in several areas, including academic. The city has been declared best university city in the world by global grading surveys. Our youngsters, along with those in Beijing, Shanghai and Singapore, uh, also score extremely high on global measures of math, science and reading. Let's face it, we're a city of nerds. Embrace the geekiness. Now, to summarise yesterday's three hours of announcements in a short time is, is tricky, but let's do a quick list. Hong Kong will continue to maintain the one country, two systems policy, while at the same time taking advantage of the huge upward development energy across the border. We'll do so by smart integration with national growth policies, Mr. Lee said. Now, China's been the fastest growing place in the world for decades. And you know what they say, a rising tide lifts all the boats. New investment in commerce will mean more jobs will be available in Hong Kong and special housing deals will enable young people to get on that housing ladder. For quick relief of the housing crunch, 30,000 temporary apartments will be built and the construction of long-term public housing will be sped up by 50% to 158,000 units in the next five years. Writers on Friday every day have long been calling for the streamlining of land production procedures. And that's what we got yesterday. The time required for turning unused land into spade-ready sites will be cut by up to a half. A land bank will be created so that the public purse has more control over land supply. Sorry, developers. But Hong Kong, already declared the number one most business-friendly city in the world, will become even more of an entrepreneur's dream with a 30 billion Hong Kong dollar co-investment fund. You come up with a good idea and some of the money, Hong Kong will supply the rest. Now, in recent years, there's been a huge rise in the number of startups and unicorns in Hong Kong. And Mr. Lee plans to build on that by making the city even more business friendly and tech friendly too. There's also good news for the creative industries. Hong Kong's always been good at soft power, punching way above our weight in several areas, such as the movie industry, design and so on. Mr. Lee is going to set up a mega fund for the arts so that artists, writers and designers can get paid while they focus on doing what they do best. Now we'll provide links so that you can check out the whole policy address if you want. But there's one more thing to highlight here. John Lee identified a need to tell positive stories of Hong Kong. Our community has been through some tough times and many of those problems were, have not been of our making. Uh, but the result of that is that Almost everything written about our community has been overly negative. The coverage has not really been fair or accurate. So a task force is being set up to formulate new strategies to share real stories of Hong Kong. We're right with you on that one, Mr. Lee. Peace.